Good evening everyone, it's Sheila here in Boho Daydreams and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful week so far as you're going into Thanksgiving. I think this is my second Thanksgiving that I'm going to be here in, in Montana. That's exciting for me. And I don't know exactly what we're doing yet, but I guess uh, we'll make plans and figure that out, I guess, tomorrow. Anyway, it's kind of different for me. Coming from Canada, we um, celebrate our Thanksgiving in October, and it's always on the second Monday in October. So we'll have the whole weekend to plan what we're doing for Thanksgiving, then we have Thanksgiving, and then we scatter and just go, um, you know, go back to work or whatever it is that we do. What I find kind of different is that everyone's going to work, and you work until Wednesday, and then you have Thanksgiving on Thursday, and then you just go back to work. Or you go to Black Friday and go catch up on all the sales, which is something that um, I've never done. Even when I did live really close to the border, I never participated in, in that. I don't really like the shopping crowds all that much. And I always found that I probably had exactly what I already needed. I probably didn't need anything, you know, that the sales were offering. Anyway... Um, I thought, as you all know, I'm pretty much addicted to lace. Oh, excuse my hands. Um, <laughs> they're a little bit pink. I was dyeing some fuchsia this morning. And um, I was going to put, I was going to, you know, use plastic bags on my hands. But there's just no way to control velvet, silk velvet, with with bags on your hands. So... I'm going to be pink. Before I get into this lusciousness, I want to um, just let everybody know about the uh, bead dangle challenge that's still going on in Boho Daydreams. Um, look at these beautiful beads. And they're even sparkling. It's, it's dark outside now. I lost all my light. I had my girlfriends come home. Aw, looking at mom. I had my, had my puppies come home. Um, while I was in the middle of filming, so I had to stop. So this is take two. And they're just looking at me because they just got here. Like, oh, look, Mom's talking to nobody. Anyway, so this is what um, is in the video. I had a lot of people asking if I could do a video, a process video on my dangles. And so I did. So the challenge is, these are the rules. I'm going to link the video in the description box and watch that and comment on that video. And then make your beads. And then post your beads either in my group, Boho Daydreams, and tag me. Or join our group and then post your pictures or send me pictures. Um, either to my email, which is scoghill4 at gmail.com, or Facebook Messenger. And then on the 30th of November sometime, after I've got everybody... Everybody's names all wrapped up. I'm going to draw a name from a bowl. And um, I'm going to do that in a video also. So you're going to need to come back and take a look at the video. I'm going to try and get a hold of you. But I might not know who you are. You know, some, some of our names are, you know, I, I can't always connect your YouTube name to your um, Facebook name. Anyway, so that's that. And now I just want to show you some of this beautiful lusciousness that I found. And again, you find these things when you can't sleep at night. And it's been a bit sleepless here for the last couple of weeks. Every, every so often I'm going to be sleeping, but I'm in that cycle again where I'm not sleeping very well. Anyway, there was a whole, there was this picture online. And... It said laces, and everything was wrapped up in cellophane or paper or plastic bags like this, and then it was taped. Had some old, old uh, masking tape on it. Um, anyway, so they look like this, and look how old that is. I mean, the cellophane here is just like it's brittle. Take two now. I've already, I already broke off the piece and take one. But look at that. It's it was on special for ten cents. Long time ago, the lady told me she had found, discovered all of this um, at an estate sale. 
where she was at, where she was living. And um, I'm going to ask her for a bit more history on it because this is probably the most beautiful box of lace that I've ever purchased. And I had no idea what I was buying. I was only hoping that I was buying something that I could use because I've bought a lot of lace like this before where they say it's antique lace or old lace. And, I'll, and I just have to say that one person's antique is not the same version as my antique. With that being said, I'm just going to go straight into this. So I was really happy I took a risk. And this time it was a good risk. Look at this. These are an, This is an antique piece. And it's so old, it's been folded for so long that it's already tearing um, where it was folded. But a lot of these pieces are for petticoats. And some of the little bags, like each piece was in a bag with, a, with one of those paper paper things on it with a price like um, this piece here this was in this bag this is a French organza piece and it's one and three quarter yards and it was a dollar look at this isn't that beautiful look at the delicateness of the embroidery on that so 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 amazing to me and maybe some of you find this type of um, video a bit boring, maybe. But if you're kind of addicted to lace like I am, then you're not going to be bored. You're going to love it. Because it's like art. Look how beautiful that is. There's just no way you can find laces like this anymore. If you can, I'd like to know where. Because... I don't mind never having another haircut again or another pedicure in my life if I could find this type of lace. And I have found it in France before and I've and I purchased um, from an online place before and it was very, very beautiful and it was very, very expensive. But um, to me it was worth it because it was just so beautiful. It's this this is amazing to me. And this is my greatest addiction, is this type of lace. And yes, I love the boho stuff. I love that. Um, but this isn't as available. I didn't have a lot of this at all. And I never found anything like this in any antique thrift store, secondhand store, consignment store. Never, never found anything like this. Here is a piece from a petticoat or um, wherever, whatever it would have come from. And I see, so this piece at one time was five cents, which would have been a very long time ago. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. It's so soft. The cotton of these pieces is so amazing and there's just it's like this bolt of this here's another one of my favorites so old even the threading is just tearing I have to be careful with these because when I opened them up I went kind of like that a little bit of tension and I tore I tore pieces oops 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 Sorry about the shadows. Um, it's just getting really dark. Let's see what else is there. There's some beautiful this. I love it. I think I have enough now to start actually using it in a project. And I'd love to make a couple of little packages of this. But I'm afraid that I would make a package and um, it, would, it would be too costly. <laughs> because these, these types of laces, they're not, they're not um, inexpensive. But to me, I, always, I, I love them so much. They're so soft. This is an antique piece too. Some of these were labeled antique. 
and I'm not sure is this no that's not one that I ripped but yeah actually I did I was this one I did rip but I also ripped another one there's a few that I did tear but this piece just love it I want to thank everybody too for all their really nice comments you know, with my bead dangle video. That was a challenge because I'm constantly too low. I can see where my hand is right now. I can see that. But as soon as I upload the video, you can't see it any, I can't see that any longer. So thank you for all the nice comments. And um, some even good feedback on how to actually maybe stay in camera. Others of you told me that you actually share in that dilemma. Look at this. This is an old Italian cut work piece. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, well, yeah, this is another piece where I kind of gave it the tension and then it tore. I have to be careful but because even this cotton feels so good. So this was 25 cents when she purchased that. So there must have been maybe two or something like that. I don't know. How beautiful. It looks like something that would have come from a pillowcase. It's a little bit stiffer. It must have some sizing in it. Oh, let's see. There was a lot of this and this is really fine. This is so fine. This is not bobbin lace because I have a lot of bobbin lace. But this is so fine. It's a fine, fine woven lace. And lots of it. Look at this. Look how, look how it just drapes so nicely. Doesn't, isn't that pretty? Just so pretty. And there's a piece of this. Like this box just went on forever. This is on wool. And she must have had to repair it. Oh yes, there's a repair. But this is all embroidered on wool. Just and the wool is so so soft. It's all really soft. You sure can tell the difference in cotton. Like this piece here is just like drapey cotton soft. Oh, yes, this year. I mean, I could show you every piece. It's all so beautiful. But I don't think I need to. I think everyone got the point that I'm addicted to lace. And it's all beautiful. And if I could figure out how to share it with you, I probably would. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone has the most amazing Thanksgiving. I hope that... Um, it's stress-free and that, that you get to share it with the people that mean the most to you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.